skipper of the winning boat, the owner, Ichiban, Matt Allen. 28th race, as mentioned, for Matt Allen. It was like a great thrill for, for us all. And by breaking the, the really the 73-year history of the race record for conventionally ballasted boats, it was just an additional thrill for us. I mean, that goes back all the way to Rani in 1945. And to imagine that a 52-foot boat can actually beat that record that's really existed from Brin Brinda Bella in 1999. So uh, extra thrill on top of obviously, you know, winning the race, which is um, a dream for us all. And I tapped Gordon on the shoulder about 364 days ago and uh, said, Gordon, let's go and have a cup of coffee. And I've got this sort of vision that we build a super series TP52 hull but strengthen for offshore for the rigorous conditions of the Rolex Sydney to Hobart race with uh, Tim's ability as a plumber to uh, waterproof and he didn't he did a pretty good job <laughs> but we certainly did get wet don't worry about that um, so we just put the rig from the old boat um, into the new boat and yeah with the latest technology the latest design and can I just say the most amazing crew I've ever sailed with. I mean, these guys went, we pushed the boat, we had to push the boat. You're not gonna win this race without pushing. And these guys just did the most amazing effort. You know, the judgment calls by, you know, Gordon and Will and the guys driving the boat. You know, we had lots of people, virtually more than half the crew drove the boat through the race and they all just did an amazing job. And these guys, we didn't leave anything on the table. We couldn't. And uh, it was just an amazing experience to sail with such a great group of guys that would all go to the end of the world for each other. They're really uh, inspiration to them. You know, as I said yesterday, it was actually to drive the boat like we stole it. And it was just, you know, it was just pedal down and just fingers crossed that nothing gave way. But you don't ever win this race easily. You have to win it three times. So I think the last, the two times I've won it, you had to win the race off the East Coast. You've got to win it off the East Coast of Tasmania. And then you've got to win it again in Storm Bay and the Doing. So it's, it's uh, you've got to be good and you've got to be lucky to win this race.